Welcome to the Liberati Mansion. Welcome to Under the Vegas Sun, looking at the people, the events, and the news surrounding Las Vegas and the entire Vegas Valley. Hello, I'm Steve Shore. We are live from the Liberace Mansion, the music scene. Over the years, it has changed dramatically from the 60s to 70s to 80s and 90s, and now into today. The one thing that has remained constant has been the lounge acts, the lounge acts that made Las Vegas famous. When we come back, you'll meet a group that has become an iconic part of the lounges in Las Vegas. They're called Cedro's Armada. The insights of what they do, the sounds that they give, and this amazing thing called entertainment. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hello, this is Keith Evans at the Lion Habitat Ranch. We'd like you to come out and visit our ranch. There's 38 lions. Giraffe that paints, ostriches, emus, and birds. We do school tours, general admission, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and behind the scenes tours every day of the week. Besides coming in as general admission, you can also pay extra to help our animals, and you can feed the giraffe. You can feed one of the lions, or you can have Ozzy paint a custom canvas for you. You can also buy Ozzy paintings in the gift shop. While we do our demonstrations at 12 and 2 of Ozzy painting, all those canvases are available for purchase. In addition to everything you can do here in person, you can find us on the website lionhabitatranch.org where you can make your reservations online or buy your paintings online. Thank you very much. Please come. Hey, it's Mark Chinook from Monday's Dark, and you are watching Under the Vegas Sun with Steve Shore. Here's some interesting facts. What year was it? Alaska became the 49th state. Hawaii became the 50th state. And a young, talented woman, soon to be known all over the world, was born. Her name, Marie Osmond. At the same time, in that same year, a group was formed called the Sneakers. What was the year? The year was 1959. Since that time, the sneakers became Cedro's Armada. And in that time, more than six decades, this group has continued to perform all over the world and here in Las Vegas. I'm very proud to have as our very special guest, two of the men that made it all happen, their brothers. First, Cedro Garcia, and his brother, Sal Garcia. Hey, greetings yeah. to you. Hey, Gentlemen, welcome to your program. Hey, thank you, thank you. 1959. Oh my God. 1959. The sneakers. <laughs> the sneakers. Yeah. You were just a young pup at the time. I, I, was, I was out of college. I went to college two years, and then I put the band together, and we came to Vegas. You know, I was uh, 20 years old. And you know? he came to Vegas. And, and we came to Vegas with a lady by the name of Sue Thompson. But he came here before I did. I and sure you did. Uh, who'd you work at? I wor we worked at uh, the Thunderbird. Thunderbird. That? Yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> yes, sir. On the Las Thunderbird Vegas Thunderbird Downs was right, it, right in front. Exactly. Yes, indeed. Wonderful. Then Wonderful there time. was your heritage into the music industry really began when you were young. Very your dad, good. if I'm not mistaken, had a dance band. That's yes. Right. And that's where it started for you, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Playing Latin music. Playing Latin music. Latin music. Right. Yeah. And it was it was all instrumental. Really? We didn't have a singer for hall for no, years. No? Nobody sang. We just played songs all night long. Yeah. And, and Sal, you became a percussionist. You became a great saxophonist. You, uh, Cedro, you Thank became you. a virtuoso in, 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 in playing guitar. How did that begin? Where did that come from? Was it just something you decided, yeah, I want to be a guitar player, or I want to be a saxophone player? Where'd it come from? Well, actually, our dad used to work for the, uh, on the railroad, and he had all kinds of instruments that he'd have there, right? So when he was gone, we're back there learning the guitars, the hey, the trumpets, the saxophone, the drums, whatever. Just everything. Everything yeah. he had that we, we learned to play. <laughs> Did you ever think back then that this would have been 
six decades. Oh, God, no. No. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> I performed it. <laughs> no, no, not at all. And, and, you, and you, starred for, you started off your careers playing for some pretty big people in this industry. Very, oh, very yes. big names. A lot of big names, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a lot of names that, that oh. you opened their acts for. Yes. yes. Yeah. Such as Jim Neighbors, uh, uh, Johnny Mathis, people like that. And, yeah. But but we also worked with uh, in the lounges in northern Nevada with Little Richard, Fats Domino, Della Reese, Billy Eckstein, and oh. the list goes on and on, you know. And and the Lou Primo, of course. We learned so much from him. So th that's what I want to talk to you about. Right. Um, there was an era in Las Vegas when the lounges that were here were the epitome of the music scene. Everybody thought it was the showrooms. Back then, it wasn't the showrooms, it was the lounges. Exactly, yes. Uh, it was that you could go into uh, the Mint downtown, you could go into uh, the, the Sands on the Strip, you can go into uh, the Thunderbird, you can go into the Dunes, you could go into all of these places, go in the lounge and see some of the greatest acts that there was. It was almost a proving ground for acts back yes, then. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. yes, it was. And you know what it was? It, you had to be really, really good. And we thought we were good, but we weren't. We were later when we saw Louis Prima and these guys. Says, "Oh my God, do we have yeah. a lot to learn?" But you're right. BB uh, King was at the at the in the lounge at the Hilton. Uh, uh, Tina Turner, Checkmates were at Caesar's Palace. We were at the Sahara, and we, along with. Uh, the happy the, gestures. The happy. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I remember yeah. in the lounge. I, I remember one night in the lounge. I went to go see Sweet Louie and the Checkmates. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, and and I'm sitting there, and in walks Sammy. Mm -hmm. Sat down at the table for about three minutes, and then got on stage oh, with, yeah. with yeah. them. <laughs> then you couldn't get them off. You couldn't get them off. <laughs> but yeah. that's what the lounges were all yeah, about. That's what it's all about. Right? Right. That's, that's what the lounges were all Do you yeah. worry that in today's world, where it's all centered around Cirque du Soleil, it's cer certain, uh, uh, certain surrounding the, the big names that, that now call Las Vegas home, the, uh, and, and not taking anything away from Celine Dion, she's an amazing, yeah. amazing performer. Yeah. Yes. Um, or any of the performers that are here, but don't you feel as though something is being missed by not having the lounges anymore? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, yes. It, a, a, a big. Uh, uh, it, it's lost. It's very lost. You know, and the the big shows that exist now are uh, are. Mm, Pretty pricey, actually, you know, for the, the common folk, we'll say, you know, where in the lounge you used to walk in and see a, this great performers and, you know, uh, it was very affordable. You, <laughs> still, you still perform, you guys still perform. You perform yes, at the do. Gold Strike, yes. um, right on the outskirts of town. Yes. You perform there all the time. You, you perform at, at various places around the world. I know how big you are in Canada. It, it, does it give you a thrill when people of the industry come in and see oh, you God, yes. and then join you on stage. Oh, that, that's got to be oh, it, right? Man. Is oh, that it? Yeah, it makes you feel like something, somebody. What an honor. But yes. the reason yes. that we play like the Gold Strike is because we've made it like old, like the old days. People it's the old in, days. They come and sit in with us, like he's going to be playing with us this Friday and Saturday. Yes, the Gold, indeed. Gold Strike. And, and it's fun. And, and because anymore, it's not about the entertainment as much as it is the, the machines, yep. the games, you know. And, and going back to the old days, we used to get as much publicity as the showroom people did. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. People came just for the lounges. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it wasn't a, uh, an, an hour and 20 minute show. I don't think you guys ever did a show that was an hour and 20 minutes long. <laughs> you, you used to do two hours at a time. Oh, yeah. As well, long as the crowd was there, you, you were performing. They let us go. They stayed, we'd play. And that's gone. It is yeah. gone. Yep, it, 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 it yeah. is gone. You can't yes. do that anymore. Everybody's looking at the watch. Ah, cut. Yep. You know, yeah. That, that <laughs> but got to get you on the uh, casino floor. Yeah. Gotta get, <laughs> yeah. But but, it, but it, it, it's like I keep on hoping. I keep on hoping that that uh, that another hotel in Las Vegas. I know. I know. For instance, that the SLS was just sold to a group of people that that might bring back the old 
Is Sahara really? Hotel. Why, that'd be nice. Because the Sahara Lounge, yeah. when Paul Loudon owned the hotel, yes. the Sahara Lounge was an amazing place to be oh, yeah. on a Friday or a Saturday yes. yeah. because you never knew who was going to be there. That's yeah. right. You never knew who was going to be there. He brought it back again. Paul Loudon <laughs> did. Yep. He yeah. did a great job there. He had, he had the same thing when, when he owned the Hacienda Hotel. Right. Uh, oh, see, that later became Mandalay Bay, yeah. but it was that it was that same approach yes. to performing. What you do, tell me if I'm wrong, oh. is you don't you don't you're not just performers, you're entertainers. All of what you do is designed to entertain yes. those people who came to see you. Absolutely, and and the thing is, like if you came to see me and you liked the guitar thing. I say, I got to play this for Steve. Somebody else comes in and then they might like a country song. Well, that's what we do, whatever they want to hear. Uh, and a lot of times you get lost in just, we're doing this 10 songs and that's it. You got to play whatever the people want to hear. You, know? you were always a group that played the 60s and yeah, 70s and later on the 80s, 80s yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. Um, today music has changed. Today oh. music is different. Yeah. Um, you still like doing the 60s, 70s, and 80s? Well, stuff? Absolutely. That's that's mm. our uh, that's that's where we're from. Our following. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're our age. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You like coming with wheelchairs and canes? <laughs> so I say, we're all playing that mall game, yeah, stuff. I, I'm serious. And, and then you know what? It makes it all worthwhile to be remembered. It it does. And, yeah. and and I think that's the one part of the entertainment industry mm -hmm. that is somewhat changed. You can go see a Bruno Mars. You can go see uh, all of these people that, that perform so wonderfully in Las oh, Vegas. Oh, yeah, they're great, yeah. But what are you going to remember? What are you going to, to say, you know, i got to go back and see that again. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it's all about. We're going to take a break for a couple of seconds. Yeah, they would. When yes. we come back, yes. can I talk you guys into playing a little bit for us? Oh, I, I want wow. the audience. Are you kidding me? I want the audience to know. Who just happened to have a guitar and a saxophone? <laughs> you know. I want the audience to know what it was what, and what it is that you do because I think you will do. I would love to have you if you could stay for a couple of seconds. Yes, oh, absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Steve. We'll take a break for a couple of seconds. When we come back, let me tell you, you're in for a treat. It is Cedro and Sal. Cedro's Armada is the name of the group. I think it's what they still call yep, themselves. That's right. You're but right. I'm telling you, it's a flashback and it's a look back of when entertainment was entertainment. We'll be right back. Stay with us. changes and focus on immigration law. Now more than ever is the time to seek the help you need from an attorney you can trust. As an immigrant myself, I know the many difficulties and hardships involved in immigrating to this great country. With more than 10 years of experience in handling immigration cases, our firm can provide the necessary answers and solutions to your needs. Call Calderon Law today so we can work together to help you get the peace of mind you and your loved ones deserve. Hi, I'm Eamon Springall of Stitched at the Cosmopolitan, and you're watching Under the Vegas Sun with Steve Shore. When you hear great music, there's a certain type of soul that the music gives you. It's a sound, it's a feeling. Our very special guest on the program, once again, two men who put it all in everything that they have. Cedro and Sal Garcia, Cedro's Armada. Welcome back to it, guys. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure. There Thank is you. a certain amount of soul that you get and I hear when you play. Is it because what you do with these in instruments becomes an extension of who you are? Yes, yes. Definitely. Indeed. definitely. Absolutely. And we, we both, we don't read music, so it comes from... You don't read music? No, no, not at all. You don't, no. both of you, neither of you read music? No, no never. I never have, no. Would it, you learn it all by ear? Uh, by ear. By ear, yeah. <laughs> Did that's you really? A, that makes yes. it special because you're playing from the heart all the time. Right. And, and that we've always done that. 
Well, I, I want to show the audience um, about what playing from the heart is. Yeah. I've, I've known you guys for a long time. I've been at your shows a long time. I know that you have a certain amount of, pardon the expression, sex appeal in what you play and what you do. And there was a song that I, I don't know if you can play it or not, the song that I used to love back in the uh, 60, early, late 50s and early 60s, I went around the 50s, but early 60s that I loved, that, that kind of had that feeling, it was called Honky Talk. Oh, can oh, you, oh yeah. yeah, we know that one. Can you that do one. that? Yeah, we, we can do that. We'll do yeah. that. Do a little honky tonk. Let's Let do the that. people know. Okay, so I've got to, I've got to tell you, I'm watching the two of you. I don't know how you play that horn when you're smiling, but you're actually smiling when you're playing well, that I, horn. I love it. That's, yeah. that's and you never stop smiling through that in the whole song. Oh, brothers, it's in our blood, you know. There is a side, a, a, a Sal, of you when you play that, that especially in, in the last bars of the song, when you get that down and dirty sound out of that yeah. horn. <laughs> Where does that come from? Does that come from in it's here? Uh, the inside. It, it, yeah. It's something, it's a feel. You can't teach a feel. Either you got it or you don't, you know. And After six decades, you yeah. still have it. I still have it. Still love it. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you do. I mean, I, you know, I know when people come into the show, one of the most requested things that they want is they want to hear Cedro play Malaguena. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that you you are a virtuoso as far as that guitar is concerned. Does it give you that feeling still after six decades to yeah. be able to do that? Always, oh yeah, always, yeah. I you know I've told myself that if it ain't fun anymore, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah. That's why where we're at now. You get, you get to be in your fifties like you, and you gotta you gotta yeah. do what's fun. <laughs> yeah, fifties. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Steve. <laughs> so so give us another piece. <laughs> I, I picked honky tonk. Do what something. Else would you like? What you you play with you guys? You know what we're gonna do? We're we're gonna we're gonna write one on the spot. 
We're yeah. going to write a song we'll just on the comes to it. This is what we do in the key of F. <laughs> okay. It's called the Shore Serenade. That's right. That's yeah, it. The it. Shore Serenade. <laughs> Before. Never. No. Nope. And then just made it up. You made it up. We yeah. just made it up. Right now. I play the chords, he plays the melody. It, yeah. And it goes just goes from there. That's and it. And kind of feel where we're, he feels where I'm going and I know where he's going. Yeah. Is that because your brothers no I am serious. Could I, be. Could is be. it because your brothers you, you, that you can sense what each other You know that a lot of times we we're on stage and if I'm playing something and I, I want something, I look at him. I don't you know the yeah. mental thing. I know what he's going to go when he looks, turns around. I know or what he vice wants. versa. You really? Yeah. I know what he wants when he turns around. Yeah. And say, yeah. Yes. Do you or really? Yeah. 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 So all of these, all of these years playing together. Yes. I mean, you are brothers. Yes. You are brothers. Um, is there ever a time where you go, I'm doing this one by myself? There's not, is no. there? No. 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 Oh no. I, I can see the two of you together. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's, it is like the music pulls you together and keeps exactly. you together. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Is that what you do with your audience as well? It's held yes. us together all, oh, yeah. all yeah. these years. Yes. Uh, they, they usually feel what we're doing because we feel it together and it projects out to the audience usually, you know? Yeah. Yes. Are the audiences, uh, this is a tough question I know, are the audiences different when you perform in different parts of the world? Are they different in... Canada than they are the U.S. Are they different in Europe than than you are here? No, not really. You know, if you're doing something uh, 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 sincerely, uh, I, I suppose it shows. So they they react. Uh, we feed off of each other. You know, so the uh, energy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I got to tell you, this is this is probably been one of the more fun shows that I've had. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you, Steve. Oh. Not only have I known you guys for so many years, a lot of years. Um, I, during the during what I consider the the great high times of lounges in Las Vegas, but to know after all of these decades that you continue to perform, continue to to show the audience what great music is, is just a, a sheer pleasure to me. And I and I know I know Liberace this in his mansion right here yeah. in his yeah. mansion who asked you uh, sometime to play for him. He did, yes he did. It must give you a great feeling because I know it does for me. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being thank with us. Thank you so I, much. I, I, I just appreciate it and, and I appreciate your, your, your insights into this wonderful business. Anytime, Steve. Thank, 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 thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right. It, it is all about the music. It's about that feeling that you get. It's about feeling the, the guitar and feeling the sound that comes out of that saxophone. It is about the performers today. Might have been more than six decades, but it seems like just yesterday because this sound will never, ever 
go away. We'll have some closing words in just a moment. Stay with us. News. In today's world, news has become even more important in our lives. Hello, I'm Steve Shore. For some 40 years, Las Vegas has been my home, and it's been good to me. Now, I want to give back. That's why I started The Now Report, the independent voice newspaper, fair, balanced, unbiased, online and mobile, and it's free. The time has come for an independent voice because news is important. I have to tell you, it was amazing to have like our own little stage here for Isidro and Sal to perform. Tell me if it didn't give you that great feeling of what music was, is, and hopefully will be forever. Sal and Cedro, thank you very much. If you get a chance, go out and see Cedro's Armada. It's amazing. We appreciate your honesty and those great sounds that you did. Next week on the program, a completely different look for Las Vegas and the things about Las Vegas. That is next week on the program. Until then, do me a favor, please. Be safe and enjoy life under the Vegas sun. Hello, this is Keith Evans at the Lion Habitat Ranch. We'd like you to come out and visit our ranch. There's 38 lions, a giraffe that paints, ostriches, emus, and birds. We do school tours, general admission, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and behind the scenes tours every day of the week. Besides coming in as general admission, you can also pay extra to help our animals, and you can feed the giraffe. You can feed one of the lions. <laughs> Or you can have Ozzy paint a custom canvas for you. You can also buy Ozzy paintings in the gift shop. While we do our demonstrations at 12 and 2 of Ozzy painting, all those canvases are available for purchase. In addition to everything you can do here in person, you can find us on the website, lionhabitatranch.org, where you can make your reservations online or buy your paintings online. Thank you very much. Please come. Hello, I'm Steve Shore. I've been proud to host the TV show Under the Vegas Sun. We've had mayors and entertainers and some of the true movers and shakers of Las Vegas. Well, we're growing again. We'll now be seen in 209 cities in America through our network, Walk TV, as well as in six foreign countries and in Las Vegas. We'll also be seen four times each week on Cox Communications, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 p.m., and now Sundays at 7 p.m. on channels 1096 and 96. I just wanted to say thank you. has been a presentation of VATV.